Haha, <laughs> what's up, IEOR 190G LAN, that's UC Berkeley for those of you who don't know. Um, I'm coming back and, and revisiting these videos because I need to fulfill the additional uh, one credit, and so I'm one credit hour that is for the class for three credit hours instead of two. So I'm doing more videos. At any rate, you know. <coughs> um, I'm revisiting, you know, kind of these topics that I've, I've, I've touched on in the past and in, in past videos, and I'm kind of enjoying it actually because I can look at how the situation has changed over, you know, a small amount of time. It's only, we're looking at four or five weeks here that things are changing in. And uh, for the uh, Barnes and Noble um, video, it's, it's a bit of a tenuous uh, uh, relationship here, but I did find a an article which I think is interesting it's uh, about uh, the Google Android their devices and how people are starting to get a little wary of making them now granted this is just a, an article I'm gonna read this in a second it's just one article from a, a Silicon Valley uh, a newspaper but I think it's interesting let me let me pull this up here it is not there it is there so the uh, article in beta news at any rate there's some some uh, dude being quoted by you know an MIT technology uh, review blog so it's, it's pretty legit and I'm gonna put the, the link down here but anyway this guy says uh, uh, various manufacturers are tired of making commodity commodity devices that are merely a vehicle for Google's Android OS each indistinguishable from one another because of Google's uh, rules about how Android can be implemented and the way this is <coughs> the way this is related to Barnes and Noble is that uh, yeah, Barnes and Noble's the, the the Nook is is one of the devices that's quoted on here, you know, which is noticeably uh, quote absent, you know, of the of the Google Android platform. So, you know, people are starting to wise up to Google Android. Initially, it was just a, a good option, other than Apple and the iPhone and everything like that, but now people are starting to, or manufacturers I should say, are, are starting to get a little wary, you know, of, of the whole Google Android thing and maybe starting to branch out. So it's interesting, uh, you know, a month ago it was different, a month ago it was, you know, people were kind of excited about Android and, and now that that excitement is starting to wane a little bit and who knows where it's going to be in another, you know, month or two. So. We're going to see how this one plays out. Uh, Barnes & Noble, it would appear, is at the forefront of this, as they had never been with the, the, the Google, the Android uh, OS. But, yeah, we'll see what happens here. So, thank you for your time. Ryan Vanderpaul, IOR190G. Rock on! Ow!